Hi, my name is Ryan McNally and this is my 24th coaching log on the Uclimb Coaching Experience module. Uh, today I'm going to look at kind of what I've been focusing on since Christmas in my delivery of sessions. Uh, obviously throughout the season I've been focusing on, on different types of characteristics and theories that I've been looking to implement into my sessions. But I'm going to look from Christmas on what I've been doing, kind of what my focus has been since since Christmas throughout my delivery of my sessions so the first one I think I've had a really key focus on through Christmas and, and also throughout the whole year is that the under sixes uh, have really a, a, a sufficient amount of fun and, and engagement in my sessions I think it's really crucial that they want to keep coming back it's not a chore to them to come back and, and play football it should be something that they enjoy and that something they want to keep doing throughout throughout the season and throughout the years that they play um, it should never really be a burden to turn up and, and, and play. It should always be the opposite, kind of, that you should really enjoy it and, and that you should cherish it with really, really fond memories when you look back at it. Back at it. Um, and some research that I found around this by Foreman and Bradshaw in 2010 states that research agrees that feeling uh, feelings of competent, feeling competent and successful, being able to be part of the group and interacting with others, and experiencing excitement and even a little anxiety all contribute to enjoyment and having fun. So looking back through that research, it's it's obviously we want to give them a lot of success um, in what they're doing, not just praise but results as well. We want to see them score goals. And, you know that develops that feeling of competence, uh, feeling of competency, and and being successful. You know they're seeing the result in front of them, as well as me applauding or giving them a high five. Um, really kind of helps put that point across that they should that well, they are having fun being able to be part of the group and interact with others is really crucial for for some because if they're the quieter ones and they can still communicate and and have a joke and a laugh with with people they've never really met until this season then i feel like that's a really positive experience for them that they're le meeting new people and learning how to communicate with different people and even for some people just learning names is quite hard so if they can develop that group feeling and there's no singular player that, that's higher than another then they're gonna they're gonna find that their sessions are gonna be very fun and enjoyable as well uh, and the final point even a little anxiety uh with experience and excitement um we want to kind of put them on the edge because that edge is the tipping point to success and they're going to get this overwhelming feeling of, you know, that they've done it and they're going to feel like they've enjoyed it and they're having fun, which are really, really crucial, especially at Preston North End and even more specifically at under, under sixes. Um, another thing that I've been focusing on quite a lot in my delivery is lots of ball, ball rolling time. I feel like this is really crucial that, that it occurs because if we don't have this and it's very stop, stand still, going back to my previous point, it, it's not fun and engaging. It's disengaging, and it's quite boring. And it's boring for a coach as well. You know, we want to have fun. We want to enjoy it. But by implementing lots of ball rolling time, they're they're focused on the football, and and you know they can they can develop the skills at their rate, and and there's not enough. Uh, there's not too much coaching input, and they can just be free almost. And especially under sixes, they need to be able to give. You need to be able to give them that creative license to go and explore how they perform a skill or how they work as a team because I feel like that's really crucial for how they're going to develop over the years to come. Um, and finally, um, I try and have a real emphasis on making every session, making sure every session is varied. I feel like that's a really important part for me as well because if you don't, it can bring boredom and, and a bit of, well, I don't want to turn up this weekend for the kids as like they don't want to turn up week in, week out and do the same thing that I I know that I'm trying to do because it becomes boring it becomes boring for me as well so making sure every session is varied is really crucial because if I can do that it brings the kids in every week and they're excited about what they're going to do because they're guessing we play little games at the start of the session where they have to guess what we're going to do first because that way it's sparking ideas and it can actually help me to if I keep hearing a recurring kind of uh, like topic pop up but I might do that because they obviously are interested in it um, but making sure every session is varied has been really crucial because it just doesn't it prevents that boredom and it actually you know increases the chances of fun and engagement throughout the session 
Um, so them, the, them three core themes for me have been a. Uh, have been what I've been focusing my delivery on since Christmas and I feel like it's had a real positive impact on myself and the group.